Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I realize that it's been a bit more spaced out than usual especially after Inktober and pretty much doing all but like one day of Inktober and then kind of taking a hiatus and doing videos more so every week. I've just been kind of trying to figure out my schedule and work around it, which by the way, the interview that I told you guys about went amazing. I got the job and I started and had my first day yesterday and it was, <laughs> it was awesome. It was a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to working with them more, especially because with that, it's going to give me more of a consistent and regular schedule moving forward, which of course will help me to be able to create videos on a more frequent basis with you guys. So, of course I'm excited. <laughs> Outside of just the fact that it's a new job and having fun with it, but also because I'll be able to get more videos out for you guys and talk to you guys more and also um, be able to definitely focus on showing the support to my Patreons who are sh showing support for me if I can talk. But <laughs> absolutely had a lot of fun doing this. So the thing with today's video is it is all just a sketch and I know that it is definitely a longer video than normal. But with that, the thing that I was trying to go for is not necessarily a tutorial video, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how I sketch in real time. So this is at least for the first like 10 minutes roughly, it's me sketching in real time. And then the second or back half of the video is sped up and it's just kind of me going through and adding little finishing details to the sketch. And a lot of times in all honesty, even though it might look like I'm finished with it, there is so many times where I will go back just on my own and kind of add stuff to a sketch if I feel like it. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I just leave it, but sometimes I'll kind of continuously throughout my journey in a particular sketchbook go back. And funny enough, this is actually a new page in, or a first page in a brand new sketchbook. I actually just doing little random noodles and including the last video I filled up the rest of my old sketchbook which if you guys want to see a tour I'll happily do but I promise you it's not very <laughs> clean or well put together it's just a sketchbook a messy sketchbook of course because what other way is there to be creative and have fun without being it messy and <laughs> crazy and all over the place because it sketches but yeah, I I really enjoyed doing this one. It was kind of just to sit down, relax, and sketch. And I tried to put a good little bit of emphasis on the eyes at first, especially because I did get requested an eye tutorial, which I'm kind of piecing together how I want to go about that. I think I'll just do like a page of eyes for you guys and do seemingly the variety of eyes that I do because I change it up all the time. I change up how I draw eyes all the time and at one point I had like a whole system and then changed that system <laughs> and sometimes I draw like the pupils first and then create the shape around the pupils so it's like I, I have so many different ways of approaching it. It just kind of depends on how I'm sketching and where I'm at in as far as like my mood for drawing. <laughs> but that's where with today I wanted to kind of do that emphasis and showing the eyes as the first part that I drew. Because a lot of times when I do draw, I do like to do the eyes first. I feel like for me at least, the eyes kind of become the center focal point in a lot of ways and they're where I create the shape of the face and decide if I'm going to have a tilt to the head or if it's going to be a three-quarter view or something along those lines. The only time that I actually do not sketch the eyes first more often than not is when I'm doing a profile view, so a absolute um, side view of the face either from the left or the right I tend to draw the shape of the face first because then that actually helps me build the direction of where I want the eyes to be 
and or at least where the eyes should be located in proportion to the face. So it's kind of weird the system that I use but it kind of works for me and that's kind of just how it's been as I've progressed and as I've grown as an artist and the one thing that I struggled with when I was first drawing or first I shouldn't say first drawing when I was first really diving into drawing ladies was the eyes and the eyes were always like the the thing that I wanted to stand out the most sure I do like the big old plump lips and I kind of have a simple way of doing a nose but really I put a lot of time and practice into drawing eyes and kind of getting the feel of eyes that I want and a lot of times too I'll look at various different artists and how they create eyes and kind of implement little bits here and there from others if like you know, they have a dramatic eyelash, I'll try it out and see how I like it. And, you know, if they have a certain shape to the eye, sometimes I'll try that out and see how I like it. And kind of develop and figure out, you know, where to go from there. I kind of, in doing that, discovered my own style of going about things. And that's just in art in general. You know, you kind of grow from learning from all different kinds of places and genres and types you know like a big thing for me and I've talked about this before I absolutely love old old Greek Roman um, statues and art and the the bronze age and and stuff like that because the the silhouettes and the the structure of the face are so like I don't know like dynamic to me and beautiful and I really loved that style and I love seeing like marble statues and everything along those lines because there's just something so like I don't know appealing to me in my opinion and um there's actually an artist on Instagram that I follow that kind of has a similar style to that that I love and her name is uh, Medusa Dollmaker over on Instagram. If you haven't checked her out, I definitely recommend her. She's an incredible artist. And another artist that, as far as like the eye aspect, that I can tell you that I love the way that he draws faces because he does a lot of like um, portrait style drawings where it's like above the shoulders or just the head. And that is Glenn Arthur. He is one of my earliest inspirations as far as getting into the pinup art realm. Of course, I've told you guys that I love Bruce Tim, and he more so I love his body shapes and the characters he creates. Of course, you know, like I grew up right in the time of Batman animated series, and I'm a huge fan of that Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman the Gotham girls from that age, the classic look, the classic style, and really, like, I also love, um, Anne, Amy, (laughs) I was gonna say Anne, but Amy Brown, um, if you've ever heard of her, she does, like, fairy art and watercolor art, and it's a little bit different or out of my kind of range as far as, like, how I draw, but I've loved her since I was, like, a kid, I remember my friend having her book and I absolutely loved it and it was one of those things where like I used to draw a lot more fantasy than I do now and it's kind of something I want to get back into because I do love like fairies and I used to draw a lot of like ballerinas even though they weren't necessarily the best looking ballerinas. I just loved the dynamic positions and shapes of the body and the the range that you could get. So, I mean, I I have a ton, ton of artists who inspire me and I love to see grow and continue to progress. And it's the same with, you know, seeing you guys come over onto Instagram and seeing your guys' art and seeing how you've progressed and how you've grown. You know, that's something that I love and I think that we all need to share a bit more of is you know, just spreading the love as an artist. And I know it's a bit harder when you're a bigger named artist to really want to share everybody's art and everything, especially when you have like the 100k, 200k followers. Like I, 
I get it. <laughs> There's a lot of people who come to you and, you know, seek inspiration and everything like that. But I think even just as a slow growing artist, it's one of those where spreading the love is beneficial, not just for you, but for everybody. Like, I, I think that's a general aspect of the world really is that, you know, the kinder we are to other people, like the better the world becomes slowly but surely. And I, I think that's just overall a generic statement, you know, um, I, I believe in spreading joy and don't get me wrong. There are days where I'm like, I hate people. I don't want to deal with you. Go away. But at the same time, even though I'm feeling that, I also come to realize that the more you smile, even in those days where you're just having a bad day, if you just buck up and put a smile on your face and decide to, you know, greet someone with a friendly greeting and a smile, it can not only just change the way that they look at you, but also can change your own mood and really lighten your mood from the day. And you'll begin to realize that why was I upset in the first place? Why why was I having such a bad day? You know, and granted, of course, there's things where it's like, oh, I remember why now, dang it, this day sucks. But at the same time, like, you know, stuff happens. I was going to say another word, but I'm trying not to. Uh, Stuff happens and it sucks. And I, life is one big ball of what the H man, but it does get better. And it takes time, but there's light at the end of every tunnel. It's just a matter of waiting until you see it and continuing to go forward. But, you know, that's why, obviously, my whole huge tangent (laughs) going on. But no, that's why I love, like, seeing you guys over on Instagram and even just seeing your guys' comments. You know, I might not always have the time to reply, but... I do try and follow back the artists who tend to follow me because I love seeing your guys' creativity, seeing you grow as creative people, and just getting to know you incredible individuals because this world is so diverse and so unique and so beautiful, and I don't think that we see it that way enough. You know, I think we sometimes get so clouded in what we're doing that we kind of lose track of, you know, what's good in the world and that not everything is bad. But yeah, I I realize I can totally ramble on about all kinds of stuff, but it's just because, you know, I really appreciate you guys and I... I get how hard it is sometimes to just deal with the way that things are and I don't want you to forget, you know, that you guys are incredible individuals and that, you know, it gets easier with time and that stress in the end isn't really worth it and sometimes you have to take a breath and realize that things are going to be okay. You kind of just have to approach it one step at a time and figure out what you're going to do, but you'll get through it. And with that, I want you guys to know that I super appreciate you. You guys have been so amazing. You've been sticking with me and it's been incredible and I've loved continuing on this journey and I look forward all the time to getting a new video done and posting one for you, I realized that yes, I have been rather absent since November started. But things, like I said, are kind of starting to fall into place, starting to figure things out. And I really, I have a lot of plans moving forward, plans for my Patreons, plans for obviously YouTube and you know, plans for the holidays as well. So I'm excited. And I, you know, let me know if you guys want to do like a Christmas theme in December again and have fun with that. And we can do like a 12 days of geek Christmas, you know, let's nerd out and create something festive and geeky all at the same time. Who knows? But with that, 
thank you all so much for watching i realize i rambled way longer than i meant to for this video but i hope that you guys have enjoyed this sketch i tried to speed up half of it because i didn't want you guys to have to stick through the whole like 20 25 minutes i think it was of real time speed of me sketching and this is like a slow sketch for me i'll be honest when i say sometimes i sketch a little too fast for my own good but there's also good in sketching fast it's good for you to practice speed sketching because it also kind of helps you to practice shapes so keep that in mind for you artsy individuals you guys are amazing i appreciate you so much I hope that you have a super fantastic day. Take it easy. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay awesome, and see you later.